What's up YouTube? A couple of days ago, the company Severo that makes these awesome uh, like ball, remote control ball robot toys. I was contacted and they asked, would you like a Sphero to play around with, show to your audience? Uh, and I mean, yeah. Uh, so I've basically been wanting one forever, never got around to buy one. They're not exactly, they're not exactly cheap. When this opportunity came, came around, uh, I didn't hesitate. I really wanted to try one out and I'm not disappointed. Uh, so let's start by looking at what this actually is. It's a ball with a robot inside of it. Uh, you, you control this robot. Whenever you make the robot kind of spin, spin its wheels, uh, the ball will rotate and, and you can, uh, by extension, control uh, a rolling ball, which is it's way more fun than it sounds. This is the new model of Severo robots called uh, Severo Bolt. You'll recognize it uh, by the uh, 8x8 LED matrix uh, that sits on top. I don't know, I mean, you can read the technical specs somewhere. I'll, I'll obviously link everything down below. Um, but it's got a lot of sensors, accelerometers, gyros, maybe GPS, uh, IRs, both receivers and senders. And with kind of the IR, you can hook up several robots and they can uh, communicate with each other, which is pretty cool. It's got some light sensors, I believe. And uh, this is all kind of neatly packaged together in this ball. Uh, it's a fairly solid piece. Uh, you charge it with this, um, with this, you charge it with this wireless charger. And then you have a bunch of different kind of ways of uh, interacting with it. You can use your phone as I'm doing here. There's an app where I can, uh, where I connect to the robot and I can, I can control the robot from uh, the app. I can control the robot. I can uh, decide the uh, color of the eight by eight matrix. You can also use your computer. You can use an iPad and you can connect to this. But what made me really, really interested in this is that you can also uh, program it. And it's kind of perfect for all ages because kind of depending on your skill level, you can either just use it as, uh, as a remote controlled ball. Uh, I personally love that. It's a lot of fun just driving around the apartment to turn a chair into kind of this fast and furious track. And you can also write programs for it. Let's see here in the app. I can program the, the Sphero Bolt in three different ways. I can either draw on the app. So say I draw a circle and I run it. And it goes around in a circle. And then there's kind of this amazing way of um, letting people get into programming without actually writing code. So instead you use blocks. If you used uh, Scratch, it's kind of similar. So instead you drag and drop these blocks and with these blocks you decide what you would like the robot to do next. If blocks is not to your liking you can also write code. I kind of wanted to make something and um, I wanted to write some code for it as well so you can see uh, that you can I guess. And what I did is that I wrote uh, an implementation of Conway's Game of Life. So Conway's Game of Life is, uh, is an algorithm if you haven't seen it before. I will put some links down in the description so you can uh, read more about it. But but let's let's take it for a spin and let's do some uh, the Fast and Furious apartment style with the Sphero Bolt. As I mentioned, you can also use uh, a computer to uh, to control the Sphero Bolt. I preferred uh, coding on the computer instead of the iPhone. I mentioned that I made an implementation of Conway's Game of Life uh, for the Sphero Bolt. Um, I'm not going to explain the algorithm, uh, but I figured I'll first show you on like a website what uh, Conway's Game of Life looked like and then have a look at what it's like to run Game of Life on the Sphero Bolt. 
uh, bear with me, you have this matrix of cells. Uh, the gray cells are dead and the yellow cells are alive. You set the initial state uh, of the matrix and then you run the algorithm. Given a couple of rules, each kind of frame or each version of this matrix will uh, look slightly different and in this case will have a kind of moving organism that moves across the screen. All right, so now that you've seen what uh, Conway's Game of Life looks like, um, we can briefly have a look at the code and then have a look at what it looks like on this revolt. Uh, we're now in the Sphero educational app for Mac. Um, and in here I can write my applications, uh, I can control the Sphero from my keyboard, which is amazing, I gotta say. Um, but here you have my implementation of Conway's Game of Life, for example. Let's press start, connect to our robot, and see what it looks like in action. And what else is cool about this uh, is that on kind of the Sphero community, I mean in the app, um, you can find other people's code, um, you can download the programs, you can look at how they are programmed, um, and you'll also find my program there hopefully, it's called Conway's uh, Game of Life. So you can download my program, you can run the Game of Life on uh, your own Sphero Bolt. Can we make like a cool exit for the end of the video. 